Hey guys, it's Simon here. So, as you can notice, I just woke up, but I just had this dream. And, um, it's just, just a summary of the dream. The dream was a lot longer. And I've had scarier dreams, but I just really wanted to share this one because this one was pretty good and I can actually remember it. This one isn't like a visual video, this is just like an audio video. But, yeah, let's get right into this. So, Geno Atkins is me. I was first person. Geno Atkins, if you don't know what he is, he's a Bengals running back. But I don't know why I had a dream about him. Okay. Gino Atkins was going to a birthday party. And the party was on a moving bus. The kids played around and played around. They were having fun. They were playing wrestling. And then their dad invited Kane over. Along with Vader. Just for a little surprise. And it was a pretty good surprise. They were all just play wrestling until they got really rough. They started hitting kids. They started getting really mad. They kept hitting Geno Atkins, and he kept getting really hurt. <laughs> they then would taser them, because the parents were off the bus. They had a shotgun, and before they could shoot, Geno Atkins jumped out of the bus, out of the emergency back door. <laughs> he got hurt, but luckily, right as he jumped out, there was a cop car to pick him up off the ground and bring him to the police station. They didn't even ask what happened. They just brought him to this underground station where they hung him up. He saw over a hundred more victims. They made them hang there for five hours at a time. Then they would get food. Food, more like leftovers. After that, they would rape the little girls. And they would have us stare at a picture of the band the police tried to start. And they failed. During eating time, Gino Atkins snuck up the stairs. He opened the door, but then he got caught. He was brought back down and whipped. And then he would have to eat his own poop. That night, they stayed down there. Hanged. While he was being whipped, he stole the key from a police officer to get off the chain that was holding them up. He didn't even think they were the real police. He then would sneak upstairs by the night guards and get outside. It was four in the morning and in the middle of nowhere. Whenever the police, whenever the night guards would come outside, he would hide in the tall grass behind the building. He then would get up and he saw a car. He stuck his thumb out, and they picked him up. It was T.Y. Hilton. He told him the story, then T.Y. Hilton brought to him his house, where Gino thought he was just going to have a relaxing night until he brought him to his house in the morning. But T.Y. brought him to his house and was forced to clean the whole house. He was whipped bad, and he was even raped. Gino Atkins slept on the couch with handcuffs. He woke up in the middle of the night around 7 in the morning. He got up out of the couch slowly and broke a window and ran out. He was still handcuffed. He heard T.Y. Hilton screaming, I will kill you. He kept running and running. Then it all seemed to go in slow motion. He looked behind him where T.Y. was pointing a sniper rifle at him. Then he shot <laughs> He missed Gino. Then Gino found a man driving on the road. He got in the car. It looked like he was a 70-year-old man. He asked where Gino was going, and he answered, 1,386 Death Road. The man then said, okay, put into his GPS he was using, and started driving. It was a very long drive. We were only two hours into the drive when he stopped to go pee at a gas station. It was close to my house, so I knew I was almost home and safe. He then hopped back into the car. We drove for five minutes, and I noticed something was very odd. The man driving wasn't the old man. The person driving the car stopped the car, pulled over, pulled out a shotgun, and pulled off his mask and said, It's Kane. Gino freaked out and then got shot in the head with a shotgun. Kane must have also killed the man that was trying to pee. The shotgun missed his brain, but he was bleeding a lot. Kane thought he was dead. He was thrown in the back of the car. Kane stopped at Gino's destination. Gino heard screaming and gunshots. Kane then came back and threw three more bodies into the car. His dad, his brother, and his mom. It smelled very bad. Kane noticed Gino was breathing. Took him out of the trunk and whipped him. Whipped him very bad. Then he was shot in the heart. 
Before he was shot in the heart, his last words were, Karma is a bitch, Kane. Karma is a bitch. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I have really, uh, I have some other video ideas that I had while I was sleeping because I had like 10 dreams. But, um, yeah, I, uh, it's very cold in here, so that's why I had the blanket. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed because uh, there was a lot more to the story, but that was just like a summary of it. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video. Peace. <laughs>